Talmud Bavli, Tractate Brachot, Perik Rishon, uh, Daf Hey Amud Aleph. Im Talmud Chacham Hu Ein Tzarich, if one is a Torah scholar, he does not need to repeat the Shema before going to sleep. Amar Abaye, Abaye said, Av Talmud Chacham Mibaye le lemeima chad psuka derachame. Even a Torah scholar must recite one verse of mercy before going to sleep. Kigon biadchav kid ruchi padita oti Hashem el emet. For example, in your hand I entrust my spirit. You redeemed me, Hashem, God of truth. Amar Rabbi Levi bar Chama Amar Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish. Rabbi Levi bar Chana said in the name of Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish. A person should constantly agitate his good inclination against his evil inclination. Shnemar, rigzu ve'al techta'u, tremble and sin not. Tremble as in agitate and sin not. Im mutav, if he vanquishes it, fine. Ve'im lav yasok batora, but if not, he should he should engage in Torah study. Shnemar. Imru bilvavchem, reflect in your hearts. Imnitzcha mutav, if he vanquishes it, fine. The imlav yikra kriyat shma, but if not, he should recite shma. Shneemar, as it stated, al mishkav mishkavav mishkavchem, on your beds. Imnitzcha mutav, if he vanquishes it, fine. The imlav is kolo yom hamita, but if not, he should remind himself on the day of death. Shnemar, as it stated, vedomu sela, and be utterly silent sela. Vama Rabbi Levi bar Chama, Ama Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish, and Rabbi Levi bar Chama said in the name of Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish, my dichtiv, what is the meaning of that which is written? The et nalacha et luchot ha even va Torah va mitzvah asher katavti lehorotam. I shall give you the tablets of stone and the Torah and the commandment which I have written to teach them. Luchot tablets. Elo es aseret hadibrod. These are the Ten Commandments. Torah, ze mikra. This refers to scripture, um, as in the the uh, chumash. Ve hamitzvah and the commandment zo mishnah. This refers to to mishnah. Asher katavti, which I have written. Elo neviim uchtovim. These refer to the prophets and writings. Nach neviim uchtovim lahorotam to teach them. Ze gemara. This refers to Gemara. Melamed shekulam mitnu le Moshe misinai. The verse teaches that all of them were given to Moshe at Sinai. Ama Rabbi Yitzchak, Rabbi Yitzchak said, Kol hakorek riyat shma al mitato. Whoever recites the shma at his bedside, that is before going to sleep, ki ilu ochez cherev shel shte piyot biyado, is as though he holds a double-edged sword in his hand to ward off evil. Shnemar, for it, for it stated, Romemot el bigronam vecherev pipiot biadam. The lofty praises of God are in their throats, and a double edged sword is in their hand. My mashma, what indicates uh, that it refers to bedtime shma? Ama marzutra vitema rav ashi. Marzutras, and some say it was ravashi, said, Meresha de inyana, from the beginning of the topic, Dichtiv, for it's written, Ya'alzu chasidim bechavod yaranano al mishkvotam. Let the devout, sorry, let the devout exult in glory. Let them sing joyously upon their beds. Uchtiv batre, and after that it's written, Romemot el bigranam vecherev pifiot beadam. The lofty praises of God are in their throats, and a double edged sword is in their hands. The Amma Rabbi Yitzchak and Rabbi Yitzchak said, "Kol hakorek riyat Shema al mitato." Anyone who recites the Shema at his bedside before going to sleep, mazikin bedelin heimenu. Demons keep away from him. Shneimar uvnei reshef yagbihu uf, and the spirits that is the reshef soar in flight. Uf. The derivation is the ein uf ela Torah, and uf is interpreted as Torah. Shneimar. 
Hataif Enecha Bo Veeneno. You close Hasaif your eyes to it, the Torah, and it is gone. The Ein Reshef Ela Mazikin. And Reshef is only demons. Shnemar, for it's stated, Mezei Ra'av Luchumei Reshef Veketev Meriri. Bloating of famine, battles of Reshef and Ketev Meriri. Ketev Meriri is the name of a demon that is active at noon time. Now, we'll just scroll down. So we're currently at the end of here of Mary Re, about to start Amar Rabbi Shimon. We'll just scroll down, scroll up. So we're up at the top at uh, Mary Re, we just finished, and we're about to start Amar Rabbi Shimon. Close to you. Amar Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish, Kol HaOsek Batora, anyone who engages in Torah study, Yisurin Bedelin Hemeno, afflictions keep away from him. Shneemar, Uvnei Reshef Yagbihu Uf, and the spirits saw in flight. The ain uf ela Torah and uf is only Torah. Shnei Marfer it stated, Hataif enechabo veenenu. You close hasaif your eyes to it, the Torah, and it is gone. The ain reshef ela yisurim, and reshef is only afflictions. That's the new interpretation here. Shnei Marfer it stated, Mezira av ulchumi reshef, bloating of famine, battles of reshef. Amale Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan said. Uh, to back to Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish, ha afilu tinokot shall beit rabban yod in oto. But even school children know it from uh, the Chumash Shnemar. Veyomer im shamo tishma lekol Hashem elokecha. He said, if you diligently listen to the voice of Hashem your God, vahayasha beinav taase and do what is just in His eyes, baazanta limitzotav veshamata kol chukav, give ear to His commandments and observe all His decrees. Kol hamachala asher samti bemitraim lo lo asim alecha. Then any of the diseases that I placed upon Egypt, I will not bring upon you. Ki ani Hashem rof echa. For I am Hashem, your healer. Ela kol shev shalo la asok b'torah. Rather, anyone who has the opportunity to engage in Torah study, but no osek, but does not do so, hakadosh baruch hu mevi alav yisurin mecho arin veochrin oto. The Holy One, blessed is He, brings upon him repulsive afflictions that make him repulsive. Shnemar ne elamti dumi dumiya. I became mute with stillness. I was silent from the good, the tov, and my pain became repulsive. The ein tov ela Torah, and the word tov is uh, only Torah. Shnemar, for it stated, ki lekach tov natati lachem torati el al taazovu, for I have given you good doctrine. Do not abandon my Torah. Ama Rabbi Zera Veitema Rabbi Chanina Bar Papa. Rabbi Zera and some say it was Rabbi Chanina Bar Papa said, Bo or e shelo kimidat hakadosh baruchu midat basavadam. Come and see how unlike the characteristic of the Holy One blessed you see is the characteristic of flesh and blood. A person of flesh and blood. Midat basavadam adam mucher chefet lechaveiro. The characteristic of flesh and blood is uh, a person sells a cherished object to his fellow. Mocher atzev v'lokech samech. The seller is sad and the buyer is happy. Aval hakadosh baruch hu enoken. But hakadosh baruch hu is not that way. Natan lahem Torah l'Israel v'samach. He gave the Torah to Israel and he rejoiced. Shnemar. Kilakach tov natati lachem torati al ta'azovu. 
For I have given you good doctrine. Do not abandon my Torah. Ama Rava ve itema Rav Christa. Rava, and some say it was Rav Christa, said, Im ro'e adam shi surim ba'in alav. If a person sees that afflictions are befalling him, yefash, yefash, yefash pesh b'ma'asav. He should investigate his deeds. That is, sorry, again, if a person sees that afflictions are befalling him, he should investigate his deeds. Shneemar, as it stated, nach pesa dirachenu venach kora venashuva ad Hashem. Let us search and examine our ways and return to Hashem. Pish pesh velo matza, if he examined and did not find, yitle bivitul Torah, he should attribute this to neglect of Torah study. Shneemar, as it stated, Ashrei hagever asher tiasrenu ya umitoratecha telamdenu. Fortunate is the man whom God afflicts and whom you teach from your Torah. Ve'im tala velo matza. And if he attributed uh, his afflictions to neglect of Torah, but did not find anything, be'adua shisurin shel ahava hem. It can be assumed that they are afflictions of love. Shneemar, ki et asher ye ye ehav Hashem yochiach, for Hashem rebukes the one he loves. Amar Rava, Amar Rav Sechora, Amar Rav Huna, Rava said in the name of Rav Sechora, who said in the name of Rav Huna, Kol Shia Kadosh Baruch Hu Chafetz Bo, whomever the holy, whomever Hakadosh Baruch Hu desires. Midako bisurin, he crushes with afflictions. Shneemar, Vashim chafetz dako hecheli, and the one whom Hashem desires, he crushed with sickness. Yachol afilo lo kiblam mava. One might have thought, even if he does not accept the afflictions with love, Tamud lomar, Scripture states, Im tashiv asham nafsho. Sorry, im tasim asham nafsho. If his soul acknowledges guilt. Uh, guilt is Hashem, and therefore linking aff- linking afflictions to the Hashem offering. Ma Hashem ladat, just as an Hashem offering uh, uh, is brought with consent, af isurin ladat, so too afflictions are accepted with consent. The im kiblam ma scharo, and if he accepts the afflictions, what is his reward? He will see offspring and live long days. And not only that. But he will retain his studies. Shneemar, as it stated. And the desire of Hashem will succeed in his hand. Disagreed about it. Chadama, one of them once said. Elu hem yisurin shel ava. These are afflictions of love. Kol she'ein b'hen bitul Torah. All those that do not involve or cause neglect of Torah. Shneemar, as it stated, Ashrei hageva Ashrei tiasreinu ya umitoratecha tilamdeinu. Fortunate is the man who got afflicted and whom you still teach from your Torah. Bechadamar, and the other one says, Elu hem yisurin shel ava. These are afflictions of love. Kol she'ein b'hen bitul tefila. All those that do not involve neglect of, of prayer, Shneemar, Baruch Elokim Asher Lo Hesir Tfilati Vechasto Meiti. Blessed is God who has not turned away my prayer or his loving kindness from me. Amar Lehu Rabbi Abba Berei de Rabbi Chia Bar Abba. Rabbi Abba, the son of Rab Chia Bar Abba, said to them, this is what Rabbi Chia Bar Abba said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan. These and those, that is uh, the uh, tribulations that cause, cause neglect of Torah study and prayer, are afflictions of love. Shneemar, as it stated, Ki et asher yehav, Hashem Yochiach, for Hashem rebukes the one he loves. Ela mas Talmud Lomar, but what does Scripture teach? Umi Torah Techa Tilamdenu, and whom you teach from your Torah. Al Tikre Tilamdenu, do not read Tilamdenu, you teach him. Ela Tilamdenu.
just to go back, the first one is Au Tikre Telamdeno. Sorry, again, Al Tikre Telamdeno. And now it's secondly, Ela Telamdeno. So, Denu versus Denu. Uh, the first one, Telam Denu, is you teach him. And the second is Telam Denu, you teach us. Dava zemitoratecha Telam Denu, you taught us this matter from your Torah. Kalvachomim is Shein Ve'ain. A Kalvachomer based on the law of tooth or eye of a Canaanite slave. Ma shein ve'ayin shehein shehein echad me evarav shel adam. Now, a tooth or eye, which is one of the limbs of a person, eved yotzei b'hen lechirot. A slave goes free on account of it. Yisurin shememarkin kol gufo shel adam. Afflictions which purge a person's entire body, alachat kama v'chama. All the more so, uh, a person should be freed from sin on account. And this is what Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish said to Amar Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish. For Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish said, Ne'emar brit b'melach. The word covenant is stated in reference to salt. Ne'emar brit b'surin. And covenant is stated in reference to afflictions. Ne'emar brit b'melach. Covenant is stated in reference to salt. Dichtiv. Ve'lo tashbit melach brit. You may not discontinue the salt of the covenant. And covenant is stated in reference to afflictions. Dichtiv, as it's written, Ele devre habrit. These are the words of the covenant. Uh, teaching us the following. Mabrit ha'amur ba'melach. Just as the covenant stated in reference to salt. Melach mam teket et habasar. Salt sweetens meat. Afbrit ha'amur bi'surin. So too, the covenant stated in refer- reference to afflictions. Yisurin memarkin kol avonotav shel adam. Afflictions purge all a person's sins. Tanya, who's taught in a brisa. Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai Omer. Shalosh matanot tovot natan hakadosh baruch hu leYisrael. The Holy One blessed is He. Gave three good gifts to Israel. Vechulan lot natan ele. Ela al yede yisurin, and he gave all of them only three suffering. Elohin, Elohen, they are Torah ve Eretz Yisrael va Olam Haba. Torah, the land of Israel, and the world to come. Torah minayin. From where do we know Torah? Shnema, Ashrei Ageve Ashrei Tiasreinu Ya Umitratecha Tilamdeinu. Fortunate is the man whom God afflicts and whom you teach from your Torah. Eretz Yisrael, the land of Israel. Dichtiv, ki kasher yaser ish, et beno Hashem elokecha miyasrecha. Just as a father will chastise his son, so Hashem your God chastises you. Uchtiv batre, and it's written after that, ki Hashem elokecha meviecha al el eret tova. For Hashem your God is bringing you to a good land. And lastly, ha'olam haba. The world to come. Dichtiv ki ner mitzvah v'Torah or v'derech chayim tochechot musar. For the commandments are a candle, and the Torah is light, and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. Tana tana kame de Rabbi Yochanan. A tana taught before Rabbi Yochanan. Kol ha'osek b'Torah of gimilot chasadim. Whoever engages in Torah. And in bestowing kindness, just to finish the next the sentence, uh, the next page, Vekover et Banav and buries his sons, Mochalin lo al kol avonotav is forgiven for all his sins. I'll do that again uh, on the next page.